If y'all shut your mouths, I can tell you who I am. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Haunting at the Coliseum. Well, like Isaiah Brinker hasn't been here before. Yeah. No love loss here for Baltimore, that's for sure. Ladies and tonight, at 18, 
I mean, from listening from last night being in that small room for that concert I was in, but I mean, that has nothing compared to these fans here tonight. I mean, these fans are loud. They are rabid, and they are 150% behind the Sons of Mifflin County. Posing for the camera a little bit right there are the Sons of Mifflin County before the match gets underway. Now, here's the thing. Again, we heard it from Zach Rain, and you uh, and you said it earlier. When you have the titles, you have a bull on your, bullseye on your back. Now, these guys, can they handle the pressure of being the champions? I mean, like you said, they... They have been tag champions ever, so far everywhere they've gone. I mean, good luck to them next week at 8-1-4. They got a tall challenge because the Brotherhood have held the 8 one titles for a very long time. Not to say they can't do it, but again, that's next week, this week. I mean, they have a tough challenge in Sledge and Isaiah. You know Sledge is the king of strong style here in HWF. Sledge likes to have a good time again. He's a fun guy. Really just a pleasure to be around in the locker room, but in the ring... Again, that strong style that he yep. brings to the ring. And he's a whole different person. I mean, he, he just like last time, his that triple threat match in Washington and Jason, I mean, that was hard hitting. I mean, Frazier, I, I mean, Sledge rocked them. I mean, you, you heard that echo through the Coliseum. I mean, they were brutal shots. So they need to watch out for those right hands and those feet. And there was no love loss between Sledge and John Washington. These two know, had known each other, and they took a lot of shots at each other. But tonight... Sledge is in there with a different kind of wrestler in Mosh. And Mosh holding on to the head. Great wrestling there by Mosh. Trying to get going to try and throw him off. Nice takedown. Yep, nice headlock takeover. Mosh keeping, keeping the pressure early on in Sledge. Yep, he shifted his weight just enough for that takedown. Has him down on the mat. And Sledge rolled him over. And again, Sledge has been around a while. We know that. He's been around here at least in the two years since I've been here. So you know that he's got that knowledge. Yep, great ring IQ. I mean, he already... Reverse that into a pin. I mean, already the uh, the argument here between tag team partners here tonight. And you already saw them not really getting along, but could that change in the ring? Just because you uh, you, have, you don't like each other or argue a little bit doesn't mean you're not going to be a good tag team. You might find some magic with somebody that you don't get along with. And a nice yep. roll up by Sledge. Bro, almost. Nope. Look out. Oh, Artie Mosh with the roll of his own. And Mosh with a nice roll. Oh, almost, almost had him. Had a two. Whoops. We still like, like going for cover again. Oh, I think our referee didn't even get a chance to get down for it. And here we go. Mosh can do the same thing. Going for cover. Only a one. Yeah, ref got barely a one. Almost a two. Oh, ducks. Ducks. Going for a spin kick. Miss. Oh, going kick. for drop kicks. Both miss. And both men now just staring each other down. And pretty much a stalemate at this point between Mosh and Sledge. And the Million Dollar Mohawk right there, spiking it up. You can tell he's getting ready for battle. Tag in. Here comes TRK. And here, here's the thing. I know TRK. I've known him pretty well. TRK is one of those guys that he will let his emotions get the best of him. He can be very aggressive. And Isaiah Frazier is very good at upsetting and aggravating people. Like, that's just on cue. Yep. <laughs> As soon as you say something, it instantly happens. Like I just now, see, like I said earlier in the night, I've known I have known TRK for 25 years. Me and him have been best friends ever since we met each other. He said you've known and, him a lot longer. I've just known him for a couple of years now. Yep. And he he's always been the same way. He he needs to stop. He from my seven four, he needs to sometimes stop pandering so much to the crowd and focus on the match at hand. He very much he let, does let his, his emotions get the better of him sometimes. And that could be that's sometimes his downfall. But when he's in control, when he stays in control, he has nothing but short but of amazing in the ring. And right now, again, elevated him into that atomic drop. Super <laughs> kick to the face of Frazier. Back, Back suplex. suplex. I mean, the, the continuity of these two just so smooth. Oh, here we go. A little crisscross applesauce going on right now. Mosh out of the ring. Going for a cover. Only a two count as Kick Frazier out. kicks out. Again, these guys getting so fluid. I remember watching when these first. People don't realize that this is the second iteration of the Sons of Mifflin County. Originally, it was uh, it was Eric Hamill and Matt TRK Silks. And a, a little bit of issues there. We haven't seen Eric in a long time. Until we found Artie Mosh. And these two have just gelled. Yep. It, it's, like they've been, it's like they've known each other for 25 years. Like you and Matt have known each other. Yeah, I mean, most people know that, like, I'm, like, Roddy's, like, Roddy's family, you know, but it's just, Mosh's family, like, whenever we first all, you know, started wrestling stuff back in the day, 
there was always like a little like tension between them in a sense, but you know they've grown to grown that we've all grown in this brotherhood. But like you said, whenever these two these two have gelled perfectly as a tag team, and they have hit the top ranks of most of the comp- most of the companies they've worked for. It's like once they start tagging up, they hit the ground running and haven't stopped. I mean, to knock off a team like Neverfall, that's impressive on its own. And, oh, he just took it. I don't know if he meant to take that shot at Sled. It's just, oh, yeah. right, it's like, back soup, text by Isaiah Frazier. And Frazier going right for the cover. Smart wrestling by Isaiah Frazier. That taking advantage of the distracted TRK. But, but notice that Sledge on the outside did not try to come in the ring. Sledge very much, like I said, he's very laid back. Again, don't, just because he's laid back doesn't mean that he can't mix it up in the ring. He can't. But he just knows that he'll get a shot instead of rushing and doing something rash. Yep. Oh, get, himself, get himself disqualified if he gets caught, you know, hitting an illegal man. Exactly. Sledge is a very smart wrestler. And smart enough to stay out of the ring. And now, oh, here we go. Oh, my God, what a shot. What a shot. <laughs> There's what I'm talking about, that emotion. The fieriness of that TRK Silks. He let him let the best oh. one. Just and again, cut off at the pass with a forearm shot to the face. It's like once he gets angry and gets upset, he just has a tunnel vision, and then he did not see that right hand coming. But he focuses on what what's in front of him. Like I said, he needs the he needs to focus on the task at hand because Isaiah Fraser and Sledge Gibson are no slouches. No, nope. and here we go. Look at this great Dumb. tag team maneuver. Double kicks in the corner. Nice <laughs> suplex by Sledge. Wife waiting to get answered to get in. Only a cover, only a two count. Oh. That was just smart enough. Right after he suplexed him, he went for the cover. Again, that shows that IQ, that wrestling IQ of Sledge Gibson. You know, the fans, Anson trying to get TOK back to his feet. Maybe he can try to get tag in the fresh the fresh boss in the corner, but I mean he's just oh the clothesline just cut off again. Sledge with a little bit of height advantage, maybe a little bit more of the strength advantage. But again, very laid back sledge. Shows what he can do in the ring when he when he stay in control of your emotions. And now tagging Isaiah Fraser, who does enough talking for the both of them. Tag shoulder charge. Huge, huge shot to the face. And that's the thing about Fraser. Fraser is speeding up the match a little bit, a little more quickness to it. Likes, the, likes that pace. Sledge always slows it down, has like a slower pace. So it's kind of an interesting dichotomy between these two guys as a tag team. Now, He's standing on the ankle of Matt Silks, Matt TRK Silks. And just kind of just kicking him slightly in the ribs, just enough to just to rub it in his face. And what a right hand by Isaiah. Now Steve Steele getting in the face of Isaiah Fraser, telling him that he needs to watch the open hand, watch the closed fist. Keep those hands open. And Matt in trouble right now in the wrong section of town, what they call the death triangle of the ring. Now to a neutral corner. Matt really needs to get a tag in, but Thunder's chop. And Isaiah Frazier. Now Isaiah Frazier coming out here. He tells the crowd he's from tag in the Moss. He's from Baltimore. No love loss for Baltimore. Not even for me after the way they beat the Buccaneers on Monday. So I'm not really happy with them either. <laughs> Mosh now. House of Fire. Here we go. The human Mosh machine right here. Human Mosh pit. So, oh, step up. It's a gurry. Sends. Sledge first to the outside. Sledge, Sledge hit him over the top though. Kick to the face of Sledge. Going for it again, and another kick to the face. Marsh likes these experiences, I think. I mean, oh, uh -oh. Gold. Sledge caught him. Sledge caught him. Going for a springboard spear. Catches a DDT. Draping DDT by Sledge Gibson. The rope hang DDT by Sledge. And again, that's what you cannot do with Sledge Gibson. But Sledge kind of wasted a little bit of time before he went for the cover. You didn't want to see that from Sledge. It. Yeah, I didn't see attack. Sledge is, Sledge is not the legal man. And now, right hand. Well, I guess now the legal man will get in. And yeah. Now, Frazier is the legal man. And Frazier dragging Bosch back to his corner. Smart tag team wrestling. Oh, massive back suplex. I say Frazier, like I said, he, with Sid, he wrestled in tag, tag team matches, so he's not a stranger to tag team wrestling. Sledge a little bit is the, is the question. Sledge's not really a, a tag team expert, per se, but that attitude might be enough to make him get along with Isaiah Frazier. Yeah, I mean, they've, they've been taking the tag champs, but I but it's what the Suns oh, need to do. God. I heard that. Oh, man. 
Looks like he has it just trading shots out in the middle of the ring. Oh, and just shot just takes Mosh down. Running blow to the back, trying to get to the tag. But look where Sledge positioned himself. He stood between Matt TRK Silks and Artie Mosh. Smart wrestling right there. You yep. know it's not tag team wrestling. That was smart of him. Yep, cut him off at the pass. That way he can't get the tag, get the pressure band in. Cut him off at the pass. I hate that. Good shit. Oh, for God. <laughs> <laughs> was slapped in the face. And look at it right now. He's got control of Artie Mosh. Sledge has him in control in the neutral corner. Sends him to the top rope. What could Sledge be thinking right now? Slapped to the face again. Sledge make his way to the top. Up to the second rope for Sledge. Let's see the different the different styles of tag teams as as the Suns beat Neverfall last, you know, as much of a strong unison as Neverfall was, they beat them. They need to stir some of that fire that they had at Summerfest against these two here tonight. There's a headbutt by Mosh on the top rope to get out of that potential superplex. Mosh going up to the top. Oh Jump my God. Swinging tornado DDT. But look where Mosh landed. Mosh landed on the wrong side of Sledge. He's now going to go through Mosh, or excuse me, through Sledge to tag in that TRK Silks. And that's a long way to go. Like I said, in this case, Mosh might as well be in Huntington with that far away. At least it feels that way when you are taking a beat. Yep, he might, as, he might as well just be over the mountain getting ready for this tag here. And there he goes, both been slow to get to their corners. Tag. Mosh is the first one. Isaiah Free gets his tag as well. Yep, tag both men in. Here case, right now fire, repeated shots back and forth. Taking those shots. Taking his hits. Oh, Matt going up to the top rope. Climb up to the top. Matt usually likes that top rope clothesline from here. They're getting diving off the top, diving clothesline. Just what I said right there, Matt. The rolls are over, goes for the cover. Only a two count. Let's not forget, again, you forget a lot of things that happens when you see like the tag team champs. That Matt was a former HWF heavyweight champion here, lost it to James Ford. Flapjack. A nice maneuver there. So Matt can hold his own in the matchup. It's got him up. Michi Duke driver. Nice Michi Duke driver. On over for the cover again. Two. Two. On oh, Sledge with good tag team wrestling right there. Yeah, like you said, he was a former champion. He was the he was champion for 310 days until he was <laughs> beaten by ref stopping against from James Ford. That was a hell of a matchup, and right now they're in a hell of a matchup against this newly formed team of Isaiah Frazier and Sub Gibson. All four men now battling out in the ring. Referee needs to get a little bit of control in this matchup, I think. Trying to get the illegal men out of the ring and keep the legal men in. Yeah, start with your uh, five count ref. And right now they're just trading shots. A headbutt right there by Mosh. Mosh has got a hold of him. Could this be? Could this be? I didn't know. Oh, oh, he was going for the greens, but we did not get it. Sledge was Sledge eight yards out of it. Just repeated his shots. Just sending Mosh to the outside. Just TRK is reeling. Oh, man, it's four shots by Sledge. Holds up the court, Irish whip, counter. No, oh, and the counter of his own. The counter of the counter. Beautiful nice. scoop power slam. Nice power slam by Sledge. And again, I don't think Sledge is the legal man. The referee is doing the right thing, doing his job. I'm glad the referee can, has some idea who the legal man is. I kind of have a tendency to forget when it comes to these kind of matches, especially all the action that we're seeing tonight in this matchup. Yeah, but everybody, everybody battling at the pass here. Sledge holding up your cave for a five-minute carry. Moss face first to the turn post on the outside. Into the metal pole. No protection out there. Sledge. Call for Frazier to come in. Sitting him up for something. Oh, Turkey slides out. Both men collide. A little too much time wasted right there. Gave Silks a chance to get off the shoulders of Sledge. Into the midsection. Cutter! Out of desperation, hits him with a cutter, drops Sledge Gibson face first. And now, now Matt Silks, Matt has the legal man in the matchup. And Frazier and Matt are now training shots. Right here, catch the foot. It's the foot. Step up in Zaguri. Oh, nice in Zaguri by Isaiah Frazier. Frazier going right for a cover as well. So far. Cover. Only a two count. Moss is trying to make his way back up to the apron. Go for cover again. Yeah, referee was too busy calling it a two count again. That kind of helped, uh, helped, Mel, helped, Mel, helped Matt out a little bit because he's able to get another breath of air while the referee is back turned. Frazier's coming on top. What's Frazier's right here at the table, stealing the championship, taking the tag team title off of our table in the ring, and still trying to do the right thing, saying no, no, no. But if he gets disqualified, he doesn't get the title. So why would you want to take a chance? Yeah, because well, yeah, the champion's advantage, if you get disqualified, the Suns are going to keep the... 
Sledge Gibson being the voice of reason. Sledge doing the right thing, and that's the, that is the best thing that he could have done. And oh, oh the low blow. Oh, here on Tag Team Partner. Oh DDT. DDT by Isaiah, but it was on the wrong opponent. It's on your Tag Team Partner. He just dropped it. Yeah, he just dropped it. He just cost himself the match. Forearm shot to the back. And how about this? How about Set up. greetings from the 717? Going for a cover. Referee One, on the two, three. That's it. The Sons of Mitch McCallie chalk up the first title defense. What a match. I mean, there was a good bit of miscommunication between Isaiah Frazier and Sled Gibson. Especially they're closer to the end. Well, I was wondering how that was going to work out, and, and the answer is not at all. They had some great continuity at first, but the Sons of Mifflin County were able to overcome the odds right now and win and help the titles. Yep. What a great matchup. Great first defense. And now rolling Isaiah Frazier out of the ring. Sons celebrating with their tag team titles. And now look at Mosh. Mosh doing the right thing. Yeah, he helps the sledge up. Yep, yeah, a show of respect. Well, Sledge held him out. He took the title from his tag team partner instead of letting him cheat. Yeah, he didn't want he didn't want to win the he didn't want to win that way. No, Sledge is not that kind of a person. That's the kind of person that Sledge Gibson is. Great matchup here tonight. Great show of showmanship from Sledge Gibson. What's next for Sledge Gibson? Well, at this moment, we don't know, but this man obviously a bright future here at HWF. Yep, and here they are, ladies and gentlemen, your victors of the, of the tag team title match, the Sons of Mifflin County. Congratulations to Matt TRK Silks, R.D. Mosh. What a great title defense. It's tonight. And Matt asking for the mic is going to get the mic. I think it's awesome not tonight, but... I'm going to talk a little bit more. And I felt good to win Lewistown. It doesn't stop for us. We're on the train. We're going right back. We're going back to Johnstown next weekend, baby. We're going out for some more tag team titles because on, as you can see, we don't have enough. We don't have enough, right? We don't have enough. Let me tell you something. I woke up today. I about probably about, I don't know, 4.30. Did inventory work for some fine gentlemen from uh, Blake Holmes. They're here tonight. My boy Regal, my boy Jose over here sitting in the front row, I gotta shout them out. But anyway, tonight we defended these HWF Tag Team Championships. Zach Rain came out here earlier. He was talking about the burden and what it means to have these championships on our shoulders. And all the years I've been a wrestler, it's never weighed so much as it does right now. And it's because of each and every one of you crazy bastards that feels this going out. I love you. I feel like I can hit another gear here. We've got the best in production, the best in talent, you name it. HWF has it. Let's hear it. There's going to be a lot of things going on on the internet we don't know quite yet. Oh, go ahead. Give it to us. S O. You guys are crazy. So listen. January, we're coming back here. We're putting the belts back on the line again. We're winning again. This feel-good moment that I want to last forever will be right back in January. So I'm excited about that. Something else. So they were saying stuff about the building and everything else, and I know Tris Desk can right here and talk later and all that other shit. But I just want to say, we ain't going nowhere. This is our home. This is our home. Of Wall Street, that's what it'll take to get rid of me. I'll be out for sure, man. I promise you. Let's get on with the show one more time. Thank you for coming to a haunting at the Coliseum. My name is Brooklyn Halliday.